Ilaria here, welcome to PowerCoin for a new video review. This week we launched a new coin, Moses. This is the first release in the new Eternal Sculptures 2 series. Um, since we launched the coin on Monday, many of you have asked why we started a new Eternal Sculpture series and what differentiates Eternal Sculptures 2 from Eternal Sculptures 1. So in this video I will answer to all of your questions. We will also look at the new coin together. I will talk about the details and the features of this new design. And in the last part of the video I'm going to compare Moses with a coin from Eternal Sculpture one. Let's begin with the most asked question. Why starting a new series and not continuing Eternal Sculptures 1? Well, the reason is that, um, first of all, from the very beginning we thought of Eternal Sculptures as a five coins series. Um, the series was extremely popular. We also released a five ounces special edition coin, Ecstasy of Saint Teresa, which beautifully ended the series. But then our customers ask for more. Uh, but the point is that, first of all, we don't like to do never-ending series and also we constantly strive to improve our designs, improve our coins and use the newest minting techniques. So this is why we decided to start with a new Eterna Sculpture series. Um, this series has different features than the previous series. Uh, the focus remains on sculptures, but for Eterna Sculptures 1 we had female sculptures, whereas in the new series we will see male sculptures. Moses is a 3 ounce silver coin. The diameter is 50 mm, um, the edge is ridded. The coin features smart minting ultra high relief on both the reverse and the obverse, and the quality is black proof. Let's talk about the design. The reverse is a reproduction in ultra high relief of a beautiful sculpture by the Italian Renaissance artist Michelangelo Buonarroti. The original statue is housed in the church of San Pietro in Vincoli here in Rome and is nearly 8 feet high. As you can see, we chose to represent just the upper part of the statue and focus on Moses' expression and tense muscles. This is a very energetic figure. His torso is pulled to the left, whereas the face is turned to the right. Moses has enormous muscular arms and an angry intense look in his eyes. The entire figure is charged with energy. It looks like he's about to rise in anger. But why is Moses so mad? Well, the reason is that when he returns from Mount Sinai after receiving the commandments, he finds out that his people, the Israelites, have built a golden calf to worship. So in other words, he finds out that his people had been worshipping a pagan idol. His anger is perfectly expressed by the swollen wings and tense muscles that give life to the silver coin. Um, the sculpture has an incredible metallic marble effect. It also features some darker areas, partially colored, like the tablets of the commandments, um, some areas under his arm and beard, and also part of his arm. The outer rim presents a frame with a typical Renaissance pattern from which Moses appears to be coming out. As you can see, Moses has horns. Um, this comes from a mistranslation of a Hebrew word that described Moses as having rays of light coming from its head. So in the Latin translation, somehow the rays became horns. Um, let's talk about inscriptions. The year of issue in Roman numerals is at the bottom, uh, 2022. On the right, we have the name of the series, Eternal Sculptures 2, with the new logo, a miniature of David by Michelangelo, and below the name of the coin, Moses. Look how detailed are his hair and beard, and also a detail that we love is his hand holding the beard, and we chose to focus on this detail on the obverse of the coin. Look at all the muscles and beans in Moses' hand and the waves of the beard. When the coin is tilted, you can also see how high is the relief. 
As for the reverse, the statue on the obverse had a metallic marble effect with darker areas partially colored. Um, the background is black proof. The coin is Palau's legal tender, the coat of arms is on the left and below there is the inscription with the face value $20. About the presentation, the coin comes in a capsule inside of Power Coins Luxury Case. Um, this is a black shiny case, very elegant. Um, sorry for the reflection, it's just super shiny. Uh, the edges are smooth and Power Coin logo is on the lid. The lid is hinged. Um, the coin will also be accompanied by the certificate of authenticity. I'm sorry, I don't have it now because it's on production. And now, as promised, I'm going to compare Moses with Tre Grazie, a coin from Eterna Sculptures 1. Okay, these are the two coins. Um, the first difference that we notice is, of course, the size. 50 millimeters for Moses, uh, 38.61 for Tre Grazie. Uh, about the weight, 3 ounce versus 2 ounce. Both coins have black proof quality, but the finish of the sculptures is different. Uh, Moses has a metallic marble effect and the relief is a lot higher. Uh, whereas Tren Grazie has a coloration replicating the sculpture's natural marble effect. Eterna Sculptures 1 logo is a miniature of Venus de Milo. Uh, the entire series is a celebration of sensuality and beauty of the most famous female statues. The new logo is a miniature of David by Michelangelo because Eterna Sculptures 2 will focus on the most beautiful male statues. Um, let's see what is different on the obverse. In Eterna Sculptures 1, there is a back view of the sculpture, whereas Eterna Sculptures 2 has a detail of the statue and a higher relief. Um, the finish is different as well, marble effect, metallic marble. The vintage of the two series is different as well. 999 pieces for Tre Grazie and Eterna Sculptures 1, only 499 pieces for Moses. So make sure to reserve yours as soon as possible. Go to our website at www.powercoin.it. Uh, you can also find more information about this coin on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Please let me know what you think of this new series and also if you have other questions, feel free to ask. I will see you next week and don't forget, collect, invest, enjoy! Ciao!